Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm going to be opening up a box of jewelry that I got from shopgoodwill.com. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales for YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we could definitely work something out. All the instructions are listed in the description box down below. All you have to do is send me the timestamp and preferably screenshots of the item or items that you're interested in along with your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address and we can go from there. Okay guys, so I have this big box sitting in my lap right now. So I'm going to open it off camera. So I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, enjoying the beautiful month of June and doing well. So this is first impressions, guys. And I don't remember what this lot was. I think it was a costume jewelry lot. So and I think it went in at two point I'm not sure if this is the pounds, but I think this is about two pounds almost. So let's um, dive in and see what we have in here. Okay, so I'll put this off to the side. And I think everything in here is costume, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here. So the first thing out of the bag is this set of pearls and earrings. And, um, say anything here about them. They feel kind of heavy and slightly cold to the touch. There is no marking on the clasp, but it's very pretty. I believe these to be glass. I'll turn on the presidium to test, but we have these little pearls here made in China. I think these are just costume. They're very pretty. Beautiful color. Silver color. And uh, let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at about, say about 16 inches around the neck. So we have this beautiful necklace set. Uh, I might No, I don't think, they're moving slightly up towards glass, but I don't know. They have a nice weight to them, and they do not feel cheapy. If anybody wants the set, we'll do that one for $10. Okay. Let's hope for the best and see that there's some other pretties in here. We have this pretty girl, a pretty guy. Um, it's very dirty. It has a lot of dust going on there. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. This is the back of it. There's a little bit of wear on the back, but there are no marks and a little bit of gold plating loss. But it looks to be in okay condition. Really pretty. Has a nice weight to it. And this one measures about two inches by, let's say one and a half inches, inches at its widest. And that's a really nice one. Uh, but it does need to be cleaned up, so but it's really pretty. So let's do $5 on that one. Then we have one of these brooches, which looks like one of those Russian lacquer brooches. And this one does not have a signature on the back. And let's see, how does this one open? Okay, does it so I think this one just opens like so. That's really pretty. Let's do this one for eight dollars. We have this beautiful pearl, full pearl um, necklace, and you've got the acrylic beads here. Really pretty. This has a lobster clasp. No marks. Let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures in at 
20 inches around. Really pretty layering piece. And we'll do this one for $4 if anybody wants that one. You have this really pretty guy. Unfortunately, it's missing one of the AB rhinestones right there. So that's unfortunate. There's some paint loss going on throughout. But it's really pretty. And I think that's an easy replacement. You can find um, another rhinestone to easily replace that. But it, it's very dusty too, so it needs to be cleaned up. This one is sitting at about four and a half inches tall. So if anybody wants this one, it does need a repair, we'll do that one for $3. Okay, next we have these earrings. These feel like porcelain, gold tone. I don't know if these are marked. Let's see. These are marked Avon on the back. Oops. You can see the mark Avon. These are really cute, really cute. They do need to be wiped down. But these are in good condition. Really pretty pink flower earrings. And they're about an inch tall. So if anybody wants these, we'll do these for, do these for $5 if anybody wants those. Then we have this leaf. I don't know if this is a maple leaf, perhaps. Some um, no marks on the back. Really pretty. And we'll do this one for we'll do this one for three dollars if anybody wants that one. Then we have this beautiful brooch with the ribbon. And this is like a resin or enamel. And these are faux pearls. Um it does need to be cleaned up. This is the back of it. And there are no marks on there. But very pretty. And this one measures in at about two and a half inches. And if anybody wants this, we'll do this one for $8. Okay, next we have this twisted faux pearl and gold tone a rope chain, really pretty. And this is the clasp. There are no marks on it, spring ring clasp. Really beautiful. And this one measures in at 16 inches. If anybody wants that one, we'll do this one for, this is really pretty. Let's do this one for $7. Then we have this brooch, looks like a ribbon, brushed gold tone. And this one has a mark. And this one says art, A-R-T on the back. That's really lovely. I love the brush gold tone. This one measures about two inches by two inches. Let's do this one for $8. Okay, next we have this really pretty cross. Unfortunately, it's missing a rhinestone here. So that is disappointing. And this has a magnetic closure here. But unfortunately, I think some of the magnetic pieces are coming out here. I mean, it still works, but I think over time that would come out. But it's really pretty. That could be an easy fix, I think. Really beautiful. This one measures about almost three inches tall. I'm hoping we find the missing rhinestone in this bag somewhere, so we'll see. So let's put this one off to the side for now. Okay, next we have this really pretty atomic looking brooch. Really beautiful. I love this with all the dimension. It's really beautiful. That's really pretty. And this one measures in at, I have a few of these in my collection. This one's about one and a quarter inch tall. That is a stunner. And if anybody wants this one, let's do $8 on this one. That one is pretty. Love that. Okay, we have this beautiful butterfly brooch. 
And it's a really pretty, like sort of a resin center there, really beautiful. And the enamel, gold tone. This is the back, it's not marked. And it's pretty. Let's measure this one. This one's about two and a half inches by two inches. Okay, next we have this pretty brooch. And I don't know if these are, I'm not sure what is going on here, what kind of design this is. These look like, it's like resin. And it looks almost like Asian bamboo or characters, I'm not sure. But um, I'm not sure. This is a very unique brooch. There's no marks on it. This is the back of it. It's really pretty. And there is a little bit of um, gold tone loss. But at its longest, it's about almost three inches by three inches wide. A very nice brooch. Ooh, this is a beauty. Wow, that's stunning. That is a stunner. Let's zoom in on her. That's really pretty. Oops. And this is the back of it. Um, there's no marks on this. There's a filigree finding there. Um, there's no marks, but it's very stunning. Wow. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous brooch. And I think all the rhinestones are there. Hope we're not missing any on this one. They seem to be all there. And this one measures in at three inches by about two and three quarters. But that's stunning. Wow, look at that, the size of that. So we have that one, very pretty, love that one. I'm glad that one's intact. Then we have this guy here, really pretty. Not sure which way you would wear this, I guess this way or this way, I'm not sure. It's beautiful. I love all the colors on here. I think everything is there and it's on this coppery colored metal, copper tone. Really beautiful. And this is the back of it. There are no marks. And this one measures in at three inches by two, um, one and three quarters. If anybody wants this one, let's do you. That's really pretty. Let's do this one for $8. That's pretty. Okay, next we have this guy here. And this one is like the thermo set. Plastic. No marks on this. Kind of looks like a Coro. Oh wait, there is a mark. Oh, this one's a Lisner. There's the mark. There is some silver tone plating wear on the back. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. That's a cutie. And let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures about almost two and a half inches tall. If anybody wants the listener, we'll do the listener for... Do him for $10. Okay. Next, we have this pretty looking brooch. Oh, that's beautiful. Old tone with the rhinestones. There's a little bit of wear going on there, unfortunately. This is the back of it. I don't think there are any marks on this one. But it's really pretty. I love the dimension on this one. But there is a little bit of wear happening there. But it could be cleaned up, I think, rather easily. This is three inches by about almost one and a half. If anybody wants this one, we'll do this one for... For seven dollars. That needs a little bit of help. Then we have this one. Really pretty. I love all the filigree work on this. And the beautiful, sort of like a turquoisey teal color rhinestone with the AB coating. It's beautiful. 
Unfortunately, there's something going on here. I don't know what that is. That looks like sort of like a peachy, dusty thing. I don't know if that's some sort of vertigree or if that can come off. But hopefully that can be removed. And this is the back of it. There are no marks on this. It does look rather old. I am. So hopefully that can be cleaned up because that's really pretty. So we have that one and this one measures in at about 1.75 inches wide. Okay, next we have this with these giant pearls, faux pearls. These are clip-on earrings. These are cool. I love a good clip-on. And hopefully we have a match. I think we see the match in the bag. We do. These are awesome earrings. How cool are these? Wow, stunning. And I think all the pearls are there. And that's the back of them. They are not marked, but they measure in at about one and a quarter to about one and a quarter wide. Very cool. I love these a lot. And we'll do these for $10. They feel very substan substantial. Then we have this, which is a, oh, this one's a Sarah Coventry cameo earring. I don't know why the cameo is upside down, right? So that's a little peculiar, but we have one of those. Let's see, we have this earring here, really pretty. That looks like some of the paint has worn off. And I think all the rhinestones, nope, missing a rhinestone right there. This is the back of it, and a lot of the paint has worn off. But that looks like a really pretty earring. Let's keep going. We have a acrylic earring here. This one has no marks. It has a little bit of wear. Let's see if we got a match to that. Then we have this, which is a faux pearl, and, and this is a lovely gold tone brooch. And this one has a mark. It's a Sarah Cub. It does have a little bit of a greenies going on there. It's still pretty. Um, it needs to be cleaned up. Let's do her for $4. Let's see what else. We have another leaf brooch. And this one is marked Monet. And this one's in good condition. Just needs to be dusted up, wiped down. Love the textured gold tone here. And this one measures in at about two inches tall. Really pretty. Let's do $10. Then we have this guy, which is a pretty seashell with the pearls. I think this says Trafari right there. Don't know if it says Crown Trafari. It definitely says Trafari. So that's nice. We have this Trafari brooch with the pearls, seashell, perfect for summertime. And this one measures in at about three inches by about one and three quarters at its widest. Very cool, good condition. And we have this really cool brooch, flower brooch. And this looks similar to the one we saw earlier. This one is gold tone though, and I think all the rhinestones are there, thankfully. Um, it's in good condition. It has a little few marks here where the paint has come off, but nothing crazy. And this is the back of it. There is a spot where the gold plating has come off there, but in still great condition. Really cool looking brooch. Love the dimension. And this one measures in at four and a half inches. So that's a beauty. I like that a lot. Okay, then we have some earrings here. Oh, these are beautiful. These are, let's see, these are marked Avon right there, but unfortunately they have a little bit of a greeny thing going on there. So these will definitely need to be cleaned up, unfortunately, but hopefully they will be an easy 
clean up. And these look okay. And I think the top ones are probably Avon as well. This one's Avon too, yeah. It's really pretty dragonflies. So yeah. Speaking of dragonflies, definitely subscribe to Susie if you're not already. Susie of Dragonfly Bees. She has a great channel. She's doing all sorts of fun things on her channel. And speaking of Avon, I just attended a whatnot sale by Ali Borealis, who I'm doing a collab with, by the way, coming up for 4th of July with some other great resellers on here. So um, stay tuned for that. But um, Ali has a great channel, and I'll leave Susie and Ali's channel down below. Ali just did a wonderful sale on Avon Jewelry. It was wonderfully curated, so hopefully she'll do some more sale videos soon, either on Whatnot or maybe on YouTube in the future. But yeah, so we have these earrings, and we'll sell these as a set, as is, without cleaning, and I'll put the price for these down below. Okay. And then we have this really large faux pearls. A little bit of green going on there. And hopefully that can easy clean up. And these are giant full pearls, really pretty necklace. And this one's about 16 inches around the neck. We have that. And we'll do this one for $5 if anybody wants that. Then we have a ring, cameo ring. I wonder if this is Sarah Cove. I don't see any marks, but it has this beautiful band with the etching all around it. Really pretty. It's magnetic and it's really beautiful. Let's just shine a light on her. Is she glowing? Not sure. Not sure if she's glowing or if she's shell or not, but she's pretty. So we have her. And this one measures in at a size seven, but it is adjustable, so you can adjust it. So we have that one. Then we have this really pretty painted brooch with the rhinestones. I think they're all there. This one looks to be in better condition than the others. And this one has a C clasp. This one's beautiful. I really like that one a lot. And this one measures in at about one and a half inches. Really pretty. Let's do this one for, that's really pretty. Let's do this one for eight. That's beautiful. Then we have this guy here. I don't know if this is celluloid, maybe, maybe, but it looks to be painted with the black paint. We have one rhinestone in the middle with these roses, and then we have these dangling chains with, I don't know if these are glass. These are glass beads, so that's very interesting. This one measures in at four inches at its tallest and two inches wide. Really interesting brooch, and this is the back of it. And this has a little bit of wear on the clasp here, and it opens up like so. Very interesting brooch. We have that. So we have an earring here, really pretty, really beautiful. And these are marked Monet. So these are beautiful Monet earrings. So hopefully we find a match. These are in good condition. And these measure in at about three quarters of an inch. Oh, I recognize this piece. I sold this before. This is an Avon, beautiful Avon, with this faux garnet here, really pr a ruby, really pretty. And I think this is just, um, I don't know if it's glass. 
No, it's acrylic. But this is an Avon. It's marked Avon right there. And it has a spring ring clasp. And this measures in at 12 inch drops with 24 inches around the neck. And then you have the cross, which is about two and a half inches by one and three quarters of an inch wide. Very beautiful Avon cross. We have that. Then we have the match to the Sarah Coventry earring. And yeah, so I don't know if this was glued back, so it looks like it might have been because it's kind of discolored, but somebody put it in the wrong way. But this will be a crafter's piece. If anybody wants these earrings, this will be a dollar. We have this earring here. And this one is a Richelieu. Richelieu. It's a little dirty. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. A lot of gunk on the back. We have one of those. Okay, we have one of these earrings and we have a match. They sort of... I mean, this really interesting earring it has sort of like a pearl look to it, kind of like the Miriam Haskell pearls, but um, I don't think these are, I think these are just some kind of, no, acrylic or something. They sound like glass, but I don't know. Really pretty though. Need to be cleaned up. But if anybody wants these, they measure in at about an inch. We'll do these for five dollars okay then we have this brooch here this one does not have any marks on it i don't think but it is really pretty abstract sort of feathers ribbons gold tone and this one it's about three inches by one and three quarters if anybody wants this one i'll do this one for dollars. We have a match to the Richelieu. Richelieu. <laughs> and this one's also very dirty on the back. So it needs a really good cleaning. But these are really pretty. Um, and this is a little bit of a, I don't know if that's glue. I'm not sure. But it could use a good wipe down. I don't know. Hopefully that'll come off. But if anybody wants these Richelieu, we'll do these for six dollars. Okay. Ooh, what's this? This looks like a Monet. Am I wrong? No, it's a Monet. And I love Monet. And I think I have one of these that I received from Kristen D's jewelry box. Um, her subscription service. You should definitely check it out. You get beautiful pieces. Um, so I've had one of these before. But this one looks like a different kind of chain. It has a toggle clasp, so that's really cool. I really like this one. It's really beautiful. And this one's in good condition. This one's about 16 inches around the neck. That's the back of it. Really beautiful. I love Monet. I can never get tired of Monet jewelry. It's just really, usually very good quality. And we have that one. Okay, then we have this brooch here, which I think it's missing something right there, unfortunately. And maybe a couple of things here as well. This one is not marked. Oh, it is marked. It is marked. Hmm. It's an interesting mark. Leto? I'm not sure. But we have this one. Really pretty, but it is missing a lot of stones. So if anybody wants this, it'll be a repair. That'll be a dollar. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we have a match to the Monet earrings. Earring. <laughs> and I think all of the rhinestones are there. So that's really great. Very pretty color. And... There is a little bit of green happening right there. So that will need to be cleaned up, but they're very beautiful. Okay, then we have this really pretty cameo lady. And she's got this mesh surrounding her. I don't 
know if there's a little crack going on there. Maybe a little bit of a crack or something. She's really pretty. Let's see if she glows. I think she kind of glows. So I think she could be real shell. She's beautiful. And let's measure her. She is about from the bail to the bottom, about one and three quarters of an inch by one and a half inch. She's pretty. I like her a lot. Then we have this earring here, very pretty. With the flowers, the pearls, the rhinestones. I don't know if it's missing something there. I don't know. But these are XO X Betsy. These are Betsy Johnson earrings. Really cool. I'm not sure if it's missing something. Let's see if we find a match. And I think there is a match here. Oh, I don't think it is. I think that's how it is. So, yeah, I think that's how the earrings are. Hopefully, okay, let's see. There's the bow, right? I think we have the pearls. All the rhinestones are there. So I think they're okay. These are Betsy Johnson. They're in okay condition. And these measure in at about three quarters of an about three quarters of an inch. Then we have this brooch here, very pretty. It's interesting, I thought they were marcasites at first, but there's actually no, there are no marcasites in these settings here, which is very interesting. This is gold tone, this is the back of it, and there's some corrosion going on there. Looks to be very old and pretty though. Kind of a little bit articulated. That needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty cool though. Very beautiful. And this one measures in at one and three quarters by about 2.25 inches wide. Yep. Uh -oh. And then last but not least, we have this guy, which looks like a stopwatch of sorts. This one says Paris, 1873. Not even sure how you would work this. But I don't... Oh, there we go. I think you can set the time. What time is it now? I think it's about 5 o'clock here. No, I think it's about 6.30 now. So you can set it. I don't know if you could change the battery in here or there's a little bit of corrosion right there, there, and around. But a very interesting piece. I don't know what this is. We have that. Okay, guys, so that was the end of this shop goodwill lot. Okay, guys, um, so this lot, I'm not so sure. Um, I loved this Monet piece, and that's the thing with a lot of these lots. A lot of the times, a lot of the jewelry does not come in good condition, especially a lot of the rhinestone pieces. But I loved the Monet pieces here. Those were my faves. The Betsy Johnson were pretty. I loved these guys. These were definitely a fave, even though they're unmarked. I love that. Very runway, 80s style jewelry. I love this cameo. I love all the Monet pieces, actually. Um, this was a beautiful brooch. I love that guy. I love these earrings, even though they have wear to them. They just have a very Parisian sort of look to them. Very whitewashed sort of look. Um, I love this Trufari brooch. And what else was there? This was very beautiful as well. Oh, and this was a stunner. Yeah, a lot of beautiful pieces. A lot of them unmarked. 
But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of the slot. If you had any favorites, if you have any insights, leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you guys. I love when you leave me comments and you let me know what the piece may be because, you know, you guys are the best. You guys are so knowledgeable. Make sure that you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please make sure that you hit the bell notification button so you're notified of my next video. And um, I am doing a collab with other YouTubers coming this July 2nd. So make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that bell notification so you are not going to miss out on that because it'll be really fun. We're going to do a jewelry exchange for the 4th of July. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And most of all, guys, be well.